Hi everybody. Today I have 20 improvements for the bus tools package. So you can obviously update the bus tools package, which contains five plugins. And we go through every um, improvement I did there. Let's start with limiter three. First of all, I won't show that in the graphics. Um, it is a one millisecond look ahead limiter and we had a little jump in the um, gain reduction and this is now a one millisecond fade. I don't think that anyone would notice uh, that difference, but actually it's a bit better now. Another thing that we had is um, in this maximizer mode, the uh, limit and the out gain controls are linked so um, that the out gain compensates for the limit. But um, Landro um, discovered that if the um, plugin is not running audio, that uh, has not been working. So um, I changed that. So now um, all the parameters are also updated if there is no audio running. But as it compensates for the limit, it will always output a um, 0 dB FS signal um, if you're hitting the limiter. And I know that uh, there are people who want that at to be minus 1 dB. Well, okay, you could just uh, turn down the volume of your uh, track after the limiter. Um, but um, some people um, want to have it in the plugin. So no problem, I put that in the plugin. So in the menu, you have the maximizer output in steps, uh, which seemed uh, sensible to me. So now when I choose minus one dB, it only compensates nine of the 10 dB. Then there are other um, new things, and this is in this um, scope view. Um, we saw that scope view like this. So we have the threshold lines, we have the gain reduction, and we have the input signal. And you can now choose for, for the meters in the scope view to see input signal, output signal, which will be above the threshold lines because um, we have compensation gain. And we could choose for um, an input signal and the limited signal. So we will see the input and the limited signal will just touch the um, limit line, the threshold lines. And we can choose only limited signal. And now we can uh, not only um, hide the threshold lines, but uh, we can also hide the gain reduction um, lines on the top. What we can see here is um, we have a zoom factor of um, zero dB, but I could zoom this um, by just clicking and dragging the waveforms. And um, for the uh, meters, for the peak meters view, there was this little screw down here for um, scaling how much we can see here, which is the floor for the meters. Um, and this is a bit uh, inconsistent that you once click the waveform and in another view, you have to turn a screw down there. So um, I changed that, that you can just uh, click and drag the meters here as well. And another um, improvement is that we now can click and show the um, MCP support or um, TCP support for um, this plugin. So when I pr uh, press play, you see um, what's going on here and it always follows what you dial in, in your plugin. So um, maybe like this or even the scope views of course um, are now displayed correctly. Let's choose this uh, limited and input signal scope view and we can see um, it shows us um, in the um, mixer what our limiter is doing. Of course, we can put that to the TCP um, and we can see that in the, um, in the track then here. Let's do that. So now we have this um, nice view here. So let's go on with the uh, compressor three. Um, there are some changes. Um, First of all, it had kind of the same bug we had in the um, limiter. So um, parameters weren't um, correctly updated if there was no audio. Um, that is fixed now. And then I rearranged these um, knobs over here because um, there's also a new knob and this is uh, the sidechain button. So you can now use this compressor in sidechain mode. 
But the biggest improvement um, on this plugin is this new feature in the middle, this match feature. So um, now we're in stereo mode. Um, the um, controls, threshold ratio, and so on are linked and they are always linked because it's just a stereo compressor. So um, you could imagine hiding the, the right side and having just this as your compressor, um, which is just doubled over here. But um, it's a stereo compressor and it's a dual mono compressor and it's a mid side compressor, as you know. So if I go to the dual mode, there was this um, parameters here are now um, different from the on the left side. And um, people said, well, okay, I can switch to dual mode. And then I have individual controls for everything um, for the left and the right channel. And also the detectors for the two compressors, left and right channel, um, are not linked. So um, we really have a dual mono compressor unit. Um, but what if I have used the stereo compressor and I made a setting that I liked and I uh, say, okay, I go to dual mode and only want to change the knee or the output or something like that, and the rest should be the same. Um, this would not be the case now, but I could click on match from the left to the right is this arrow. And now um, the controls are not only matched, but also linked. So if I unmatch now, I can um, turn the knobs uh, on each side to what I like. And if I click match, they will be um, matched and always uh, synchronized. Um, so let's say this time I want it from the uh, right to the left side. Um, all those parameters jump to the positions of the right side. And by the way, this is not unimportant if we are matching from left to right or right to left, um, even though we now um, have linked controls. Because um, imagine we have an automation for the knee control. Let's do a modulation for the knee control. Uh, we take an LFO, so it's um, funny turning this knob. And both of the knobs are turning. And when I now um, disable this matching, well, only the um, right channel will be automated. But if I match from the left to the right, it will always be um, the position of the left knee control and it will not automatically turn because um, it's now taking this value and not the automated value which is going on on the right channel. So it's always the control of the left channel. Let's imagine I make another um, automation on the um, left channel. I had a little jump in the video because I was doing bullshit. So now let's make an automation on the um, the left channel, maybe with a sawtooth and funny quick turning knobs, so like this. And now if I synchronize from left to right, the automation from the left uh, channel will be taken. If I synchronize from right to left, the automation of the left channel will be given. And if I have no um, matching at all, um, well, you can automate each side separately. And yes, of course, also this plugin has now a um, MCP and TCP support mode. So we can see um, the um, compressor graphs in the, um, in the mode, which is of course scalable in any size. And um, below that we have the, um, the compression um, gain reduction. Well, so much for the um, compressor 3. Here now we are with the um, stereo bus compressor, um, which now also features a sidechain mode and matching left and right, as I just uh, showed you with the compressor 3. It's also possible with this compressor here um, from the menu, or you can just um, click the LEDs on the, um, on the user interface. Um, so in stereo mode, it will always, um, as in Compressor 3, um, be the controls from the left side. Um, and in dual or mid-side mode, um, you could have individual um, compressors or you can just, um, when you choose link, um, as in Compressor 3, um, 
with the automation thingies and, and so on and so on. Um, now you would have a compressor where the controls are linked, but the um, detector for each side is not linked. So when I now unlink it, we have individual controls. And by the way, all these compressors have the quick link option. If you hold Alt or Option on the Mac and um, click it, you will turn the knobs together. And um, you will also turn the knobs together with uh, the offset. So now I'm here at 4 and here um, at 6.5. And I turn that. We have this offset uh, thing, which I find uh, quite uh, interesting. And also in this plugin, um, this uh, parameter linking and everything works now with no audio running. So um, same bug fix here. And of course, new to this plugin is also the um, MCP and TCP support, uh, where we can now see both needles for the channels and um, see the compression that's going on. In the variables compressor, um, this alt linking, um, which I just showed you, um, hasn't been present before. So I put that in here as well. Um, and, um, oh, well, I should use the dual mode. So we have uh, different settings here, but um, with holding Alt, these are linked. And um, yes, without uh, audio running. So this bug fix is also um, done in this plugin. And um, we have this um, linking options from left to right or right to left. Um, you can just click here on the um, link master things um, to match uh, the settings and on link again and link again and so on. Uh, same thing with the automation uh, I showed you with uh, Compressor 3. So um, all the same uh, stuff here. And of course, uh, we also have this um, MCP or TCP support, um, which can show us uh, the gain reduction amount. In this case, um, I um, decided to use um, one VU meter for that um, with two needles for the left and the right channel. So right channel is the right needle. Because um, it's often easier to um, see that in, uh, in the MCP where it's getting quite small sometimes. Well, for the bus compressor, um, where we have two VU meters, I thought um, most people have their uh, master channel uh, in a wider graphical setup so that you can see that um, very good or um, in, in TCP support, that makes sense. And last but not least, we have the um, multiband, uh, we have the multiband processor. Um, which has uh, this bug fix so that we can now move the, um, the frequency separator lines and um, everything together um, with alt uh, and so on and so on without audio running. Uh, same thing as in the other plugins. And um, this plugin now also features a, um, let me put some funny stuff here so we can see that there are things going on. Um, and this features a um, MCP and TCP support. So it looks like this. Or maybe like this. Well, I hope you like uh, the new improvements on the bus tools package and have fun with the plugins and bye bye.